What is up, guys? It's your boy, Victor Week Game. No. <laughs> Anyways, guys, what is up? And welcome back towards Motorsport 6. Anyways, totally been online all day, but, um, uh, yeah, totally. I, I don't know what you're thinking. But, um, Anyways, today we will be doing another build for the series. It is the best of A-Class. So, uh, the footage got destroyed of the Alfa Romeo and the, 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 the um, Lamborghini, uh, Merchalago LP670-4 SV. Um, I'm just gonna say... They were insanely fast, okay? This thing was running about a 102, and the um, Alpha was running about a 102 as well. So, um, I'm gonna wanna keep it to the theme of like sports slash supercar type deals. Um, but yeah, anyways, today we will be using an Aston Martin. Now, this Aston Martin is part of the VIP uh, program on Forza Motorsport 6. It's $20. I mean, if you want to get it, you can. It comes with the GT350, Aston Martin Zizagato, and several other cars here. Wait, no, I already own one. What am I doing? No. Boy. Anyways, the rules for this series are quite simple. Engine swaps are not allowed. Unless it's like super slow, which these are supercars, so that wouldn't be a problem. And also, you cannot switch drivetrain. Now, that's a big thing I did last series, is just like, oh yeah, you know, just a little uncontrollable with all-wheel drive, because you know I don't know how to tune, and I'm just gonna, you know, well, maybe like slap on all-wheel drive, right? Well, first of all, I've learned how to tune somewhat. And, um, yeah. Anyways, uh, arrow-wise, if it looks good, then throw it on. That doesn't look too bad, but the wing... I mean, that wing actually looks pretty weird on there, not gonna lie. That That is one of the better-looking wings I've seen in this game, but no. Gotta keep the arrow stock. And, um, yeah, I'm gonna kinda, like, chill it back a little bit for this series, so not, like cut that much out a lot of my videos are shorter so this will be like the longer ones but um let's throw on some sport tires the width so we are on 325s that is absolutely gigantic we can put hundreds down hundreds I'm talking thousands of horsepower the possibilities are endless don't those look wonderful oh baby clutch racing transmission whatever that is brakes goodness gracious Aston Martin I thought you made supercars not not 1970s muscle cars goodness gracious <laughs> so now it's race springs and slammed and that is sitting pretty nice got to admit going to throw on that roll cage ooh ooh Looks amazing from the sides. That's like full supercar Vulcan right there. But from the front, oh boy. Now, weight reduction is pretty huge here. This is a lot of PI, okay? We are going from 675 to 730 for 700 pounds. The thing is, now we are super light um, with... 2,900 pounds, so under 3,000 pounds, we will probably get that back up with these upgrades, such as like oil and stuff. So now we have 70 points left. I might need race tires at some point, uh, based on how this goes. So I'm kind of worried um, about this upgrading bit. Now we are naturally aspirated, and that is the way Aston Martin wanted this car to be. So at the moment, we we're, we are gonna keep it naturally aspirated. Um, turbo is not an option, and supercharging, like, I'm not a huge believer in this game. It's just, you know. But um, we're gonna see how much power we're making, and then we will 
go from there on supercharger or not. So that's where a little bit of power comes in. The Merchalago was sitting in at well over 700 horsepower. So, I mean, it's kind of struggling a little bit. So the car with fully upgraded everything in the engine, the whole car is fully upgraded, is sitting on 650 horsepower, 2,900 pounds. Well, that's pretty terrible, okay? That's actually really bad, and I'm not sure why this uh, decreases everything. Um. We're gonna see if we make over 650. No, we will. We'll probably be in. What? Are you kidding me? What is wrong with this game? Are you okay? Bud. I am so confused. Okay, then. Apparently, this Aston Martin isn't as good as everyone thought it was. Wait a second. Ah, oh, I have an idea. Ha! Ah. Wait, that didn't add any power either? What is going on? Bud! Oh, boy. So I have no clue what to do. Almost every single supercar in this game gets into S-Class. Now considering that this is a V12 Aston Martin, why is it not flying into R-Class? Okay, let's just take a look here at some of the other Aston Martins. I have one that is fully upgraded, let's just go to it, that was like one of the earliest episodes. This guy right here, V12 Vantage S, R811. This guy's fully upgraded, and, well, it's still 250 horsepower behind. Like, I don't understand. Oh, stand station. Anyways, I do not get it. What is wrong? <laughs> Bud. You know what, I'm half tempted to just throw this on for the, the extra 47 horsepower it gets out of there. Boy. Race tires. So due to the rules of this challenge, I am not actually allowed to test it on the actual track, but we can test it on the drag strip. Oh boy, the ice cream eating Avora is just screaming. I actually don't like how it sounds, but anyways... It's, it's, it's not a 12-cylinder. It's more like a, um... A 4-cylinder that... Um... Got combined or, like, morphed into a V8. It's that really weird noise that no one really likes. Tom, this is just no tuning. I do have traction control on, so... Pretty nice, pretty nice. It is pulling decently hard. The tire pressure doesn't really need to be changed that much. Um, the gearing, I am probably just going to do a very, very basic, like, somewhat gripping tune to the gearing and the suspension. And then it'll be ready to attack the... the tack. If you know what I'm saying. Okay, that sounds pretty sick.
All right, so here we are. Um, yeah, I really don't remember what the assists are. Uh, I'm trying to remember here. We've got, um, hmm. Hmm. I think we are running off. Maybe yes, off. Or ABS on. We're gonna have ABS off anyways. So Attraction control off. Manual off. Okay, everything is. No. Everything is, um. Me. So I'm like a full race car driver. <laughs> Since a race car, get it? It's so funny. Anyways, let's get a couple test laps in. Um. It is so bassy. Oh boy. Okay, gears need to be shortened, definitely. It's almost like too easy to drive okay, or just freak out on me like that. I mean, this is like a really sick high speed car because it has so much aero and grip. But it just feels kind of like slow for some reason. I guess it's just because it's like. It doesn't f ha it's power band is so even it doesn't have that like huge kick of the turbo or anything and it's sliding but it like feels so weak I don't know why it's sliding it's a really bizarre experience really um but that right there very dirty lap 106 I mean that's that's pretty crazy. Okay, we're gonna retry this, and uh, I need to tune it a little bit, so I'm gonna do that, and then we will see what we can get. Oh look, it's a Z. It's a 350Z. I got the uh, engine in that stock could uh, make more power than this, but let's just do a nice even launch it. I think we are doing half of uh, what it would rev up to, so this will rev up to what? 7,000, so that's like 3,500. That, that's making me sense so. BANG! It's just so quick, but this thing, oh goodness, that was a terrible one. This just feels so slow. Oh boy. Popping wheelies. And I took the complete wrong way into the hangar. And that is a wall. Okay. I got it right this time. Let off. Tad bit of brakes. I got a bad line. Still got a bad line. Okay, so this time we're gonna apply a tad bit more brakes. And just. Post and slow down way too much. Let's go for a later braking line. Okay, cool. That was much better than before. I mean, we are running uh, behind for that huge jump thing. And that. And that. Oh boy. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Keep it smooth. Keep it smooth. Keep it smooth, keep it smooth, keep it smooth, can block, can block, and can block. Faster. Yeah boy. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Sweet. I didn't jump that time. I've never had the problems this car have been having. That made no sense whatsoever. What I'm trying to say is like this thing is having major issues. 
on the little teeny curves. Like, the other cars just drive right over. And this one, like, goes skydiving practically. So that was a very dirty lap, even dirtier than before. And it's still a faster time than the previous lap with, I mean, I don't even know what you want to call that, but my controller just completely, like, stopped working. And I don't know what's going on because it, oh, there we go. It's plugged into my Xbox, so that's kind of scary, but uh, anyways. out Lotus Avora. I mean, this thing is killing it on the track. I mean, it's almost like it has, like, the power of a V12 mixed with, like, the aerodynamics from an F1 team or something. Like, it's, it's insane. Like, the aero is just so grippy. It's like a, it's like a several hundred thousand dollars supercar for the, for the track right here. Like, this is, for a Lotus, boy, I'm impressed. It, it actually looks good for a lotus. I mean, look at that big ice cream eating face. Live that life. Hello? Hey. Hey, you just um you're you're in my video now. Yeah. Wanna say hi? You don't wanna say hi? No, why not? You're you're just on the screen with the the recording software recording you. You don't are you camera shy? Oh that's a shame. Oh yeah, I mean I'll almost nailed that. Oh well Talk later. Oh boy. Okay, fourth gear. Let's try and get a nice approach. Okay. And last but not least, fly up the back straight. Into a 104. I feel like I can do better. I feel like I can do better, but that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed the absolutely rice-tastic Aston Martin, uh, um, um, Vanquish V12, I believe is what this is. Is that what this is? Oh. Mm -hmm.